Hello and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC and here on Vanilla FM. I'm stumbled through those words because I'm baffled. We could be champions. Could be champions. So let's have a look at the... Um, what shall I show you first? Schedule? Maybe the schedule. Uh, we'll start here. So if you don't know the story behind this, we've been playing Hereford FC for the past however many seasons 14 seasons perhaps 15 um came up slowly through the leagues and we've now been stuck in the skybat championship for about four or five seasons now but finally we are in the position that we essentially are promoted and i've posted a spoiler on patreon so if you haven't checked out patreon this is your little plug to go and do it now and then come back to the video um yeah so Excuse me. So we had a pretty good season, even in terms of the cups as well. We did um, a couple of stages of the, Car the Carabao Cup, and we got as far as the fifth round. Oh no! Excuse me. Uh, the quarterfinal. Forgot about that. Uh, we got through to the quarterfinal, and we lost against Man City, who are champions, I believe, of the Premiership. So we did actually did quite well to score a goal against them. And only suffer three. Uh, but yeah, but we've been doing wonderfully through the league. Um, I feel like the league maybe wasn't as strong as in previous seasons. Maybe that's one of the reasons we were able to come first. We've got two matches left. And essentially the next match will decide whether or not we get the title straight away. Or if we have to maybe wait. Blackburn are competing against us for the title. Birmingham has fallen out of the dispute for that. Um... So yeah, so it is guaranteed we are going to get promoted and we're going to have a budget of about £34 million for transfers next season. I have no idea how the board is going to get that money because at the moment, look. Two and a half million in red. Let me just adjust my mic for a second. It's a bit too low. There we go, that should be better. Okay, so let's jump into a match. Um... I've already kind of selected the team and stuff. There were a few players that were out on injury and tiredness and stuff. I've managed to put them back in. We are still a little bit thin on a couple of positions, but it should be all good. And let's go ahead to this next match. Now, at this point, I almost feel like it doesn't really matter if we get good results or not. Because we, we are promoted. We are going to play one season at least one season but yeah probably just one season um of the premiership before we jump on to the 2020 beta which is very exciting we finally made it to the premiership we're probably gonna struggle most likely gonna not really go anywhere above the promotion the relegation zone but yeah but at least we made it we're there i'm now a national hero fab um, and yeah, the, I don't think the man, the realistically we're going to have a good enough squad to do anything decent in the Premiership anyway, so. But we got there. That's the main thing. Here's Richard South. Back to Quinn, the halfback. Oh, our youth intake has come in as well. It's looking all right. It's not wonderful. Um, it's good. I haven't done anything with the under-23s yet. We we'll probably have to sell off. Um, about five or six of the under 23s to retain a slimmed down squad for it. And there's a few older players as well that have been just pushed into the under 23s for now that we'll have to sell on as well. So we are without goals. Let's make some changes. Um. Some of these players are youth, so uh, Dempsey, who I've just put on for a right inside forward, he's a youth player, because we've had some injuries in that position. Also, the left position is also being currently covered by a youth player. Nathan Smith, with a goal. Mark Dodds has been injured for a long time, so he hasn't played the second half of the season. Uh, we'll see what it, this does to his... Uh, ability to stay on for the Premiership. He might have. I don't know. I don't know what he's what it's done to his physicals. We'll see. 
So there might be quite a change in the squad in the next season. Also, I'm hoping to get some loanies from Arsenal. Uh, we'll see what Arsenal says to that. I mean, Arsenal should be, should be fine with that. It's whether or not the loanies accept it. But, yeah. So that will help the financial situation if we can get some loonies for free from Arsenal, our parent club. Tony Quinn is going to come off. Sorry, that just threw off my screen for some reason. Um, yeah, so we're just quickly going to move on and play these matches and see what happens. Uh, just be curious to see what kind of prizes we get maybe at the end. I'm also in, 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 interested to find out how are we going to get these 39 million? Like, what kind of money? How is the... Where's the money coming from? The board at the moment is basing our tra ba uh, um, transfer budget on purely nothing. Like, it's just made up money. We don't have that money. So I'm curious to see where that money is going to come from. Okay, that, this could be the last highlight. I hope it's not a goal. <laughs> it is a goal. FM always does this. It's so annoying. Anyway. Also, I've noticed another thing that FM does, and I think it's a bug. You know when players score... Well, when players go for penalty, and they miss, and the ball comes back straight at them, and they just don't do anything. It's like they would be the most obvious player to then go and kick that ball again. And there seems to be, um, I don't know, there seems to be some sort of bug where the, penal the penalty taker doesn't then go and challenge that ball. They just stay paralyzed. So I hope they fix that in the next version of the game. And if they don't, I'll make sure to point it out early. Because it's something I kind of noticed, but never... Oops, I think I just touched the cable that I shouldn't have touched. Let's see if I can fix that. Sorry, my camera is very sensitive. I can't touch even the cables. Just the outside, the insulation of the cable doesn't like it. Anyway, um, yeah, so we'll see if that gets resolved in the next version of the game. Because I just think it's so weird how, you know, that wouldn't happen in real life. I've seen, I've seen like, players, you know, they miss, hit the post. Uh, or the goalkeeper defends and pushes the ball out. And then they're in the best position to then kick their ball again. But in FM, they just stay paralyzed. They don't touch the ball. They just seem to be completely disheartened. They might have to do, I'm just thinking now, it might have something to do with their, I don't know, some sort of attribute or characteristic. I don't know. But I don't think any of the penalties that have been missed, in my experience in FM, have ever been challenged by the penalty taker. Which is thoroughly annoying. So I think it's a bug. But we'll get to the bottom of it. Right, I'm not going to change any training just for this last game because it's not really all that worth it. Um, so... Come on, space bar. Okay, lots and lots of news, but really what we want to do is get to that last match. Now, we drew. I don't know where this fits in with... Oh. Okay, so we need to at least draw. We need to at least draw. If we lose, we gain the, we run the chance of being overtaken by Blackburn on goal difference. So there, here it is. Uh, oh, I hate these meetings because I always mess up. Okay, so it says, while I'm surprised we haven't secured it in advance, a final day. No, I'm not going to say that. All we need is a single point for our final match to become champions. I encourage you all to make the most of this amazing opportunity. 
Okay, so that sounds good. Then the other options are all we need is a point from our final game to become champions. Just play your normal game and don't allow yourself to get caught up in the occasion. Also sounds like good choice, maybe? We weren't expected to be in the title hunt this season, so don't be too disappointed if you fail to get the point needed for our last match of the season. I'm going to go with this one. Okay. Because it's kind of middle of the ground, I don't want to push them too hard. So, uh, that's great. Well done. Everyone's pumped. Woohoo! Actually, let's have a look at dynamics before we head on to the match. Let me just praise people for their training, because I always do that across all levels. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, right, so dynamics, they all want new deals. That's because we just got promoted. Um, yeah, looking good. Okay, nobody's, you know, super unhappy, except for all the people that want new contracts because they just think they deserve it. Although, they're probably all going to get substituted by, well, not substituted, replaced by different players. But anyway... Huddersfield, where is Huddersfield? 17th, so it, this should not, in theory, in theory, this should not be a hard match for us. It should be pretty average. So, Franco, uh, yeah, that looks good. Defense-wise, we got our usual double. And that looks good to me. It also looks good. We're probably gonna go with exactly the same team, not gonna lie. Hurtado. Now here is... Yeah, the Glen Wright's not back. Dodds. Ah. Oh. Yeah, go on. Let's put Dodds in at the end. Last game. He's, he's got no fitness, but... But he deserves it. And that means we can get... Uh, no, we can't. Okay. So we've got right, left, center... I kind of want to do, I kind of want to, whoops, uh, I want to do this, more attacking options, okay, let's have a look to see what the coaches are saying about the tactics, so at the moment we're going attacking style, uh, they say we should go positive, and we probably should go positive. Because that attacking style bit us off in the end of the match. I know I can change styles halfway through a match. I know all that. But I'm a lazy manager. I don't like to make lots of changes halfway through the match. I like the subs. But that's about it. Okay. So, here we go. We're going positive mentality for this last match. A bit more safe with our mentality. We're playing away from home as well. Uh, we don't really need a win. All we need is a draw. We're already suffering a goal. Okay, so at this point, if Blackburn is winning, they would be crowned champions. But I don't know if Blackburn is winning. I don't even know who Blackburn is playing against. I should have checked that. This could be second goal. Okay, good. Franco with a deflection there. Conceding a corner. Lots of highlights for Huddersfield. Too many highlights for Huddersfield. Don't like this. Okay, Ribeiro got the ball back. Forward to the striker that I can't pronounce. And that's the end of the highlight. Another highlight for Huddersfield. Not, not great. Not great. In oh, that's offside. No, it isn't. Okay, but that's controlled. Good, good. Okay, no news in the dugout. Oh, there we go. Blackburn scored against Cardiff. That means they're winning. That means they just hopped around us. And now uh, we just suffered a second goal. What is going on? Maybe I should have gone attacking. But, oh well. Okay. Come on, guys. You can do this. Come on, Cardiff. Help us out. Help us out. Score a goal. Okay. 
This is ridiculous. I don't understand. We haven't made any changes as well. Okay, dots. Come on. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, got a chance here. Bell is going for it and he's gonna shoot, hopefully. No, he crossed and there was nobody there. What is going on? Mentality, what is going on with their focus? Shooting into nowhere. It's a disaster, but at least we're promoted. You gotta take the good out of it. We've been promoted. That's that's the good thing of it. I I still believe our guys can score. Like we've we definitely can score. Come on. Uh, Bell is having a bad day. I don't understand. Maybe Bell doesn't like big matches. I don't know. Like he seems to like fluke every now and then. Fluke is not the right word. Fumble. I don't know. Plummet. Not really sure what the right word is. Anyway, half time, and there are a bunch of players I'm not happy with. So, I'm definitely not happy with you, Mister. I'm gonna have the youngster on and we're also gonna have um, I have to do this we really need Cardiff to help us out if Cardiff score one goal we are champions all Cardiff needs to do is score one goal or we need to score three, but that's unlikely at this rate. Okay, pass the ball. Don't, don't lob it. Pass the ball. Don't lob it. I don't know why they're lobbing it. What's going on here? Why are they lobbing the ball? In possession. More direct, but... It, but it's not like extremely direct. I don't understand why they're lobbing the ball. Did they score again? Is it, no, okay, good. Cardiff, help us out. One goal, Cardiff. One goal. To be fair, we could have won that last match if we had won that game against whoever it was. I can't remember now. Just can't seem to do anything right today. Maybe that's the training. Maybe I should have gone with the, like, let's do what we always do, sort out the training and stuff, but... I was a little bit overconfident. That's embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there we go. The, the assistant's going, going mental as well. I finally sorted out the youth staff, I think. Well, not completely. The majority of it. Oh, maybe I haven't finished it. Ah, thinking about it, I think I didn't finish it. But, okay. So, we didn't win the league. But we did get promoted. And that's what matters. That is what matters. 
Now, I'm going to just use some space barring powers to see where this money is going to come from. Uh, because I don't really understand how we're going to get 39 million in the bank to invest in transfers. So maybe there's some sort of, there isn't a prize. I've checked there isn't a prize for finishing first or second or anything like that. So don't really understand. Um, ta -ta -ta. Yeah, that looks all pretty good. Center back Shaimu, player of the season, Franco, young player of the season, signing of Caesar Franco as well. Goal of the season, Hurtado, 16 goals for Ray Bell, who played terribly for us these last couple of matches. And everything else is pretty much the same. Craig Noon, the biggest transfer outgoing from us, 1.7 million. Uh, oh gosh, so many things. Okay, negotiate. Lower leagues, under 20, make the most of set pieces. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Don't want any of these. I'm going to try and delete as many as possible. Okay, fine. Um... Oh, we're going to Portugal. Nice. Uh, here, I'm going to make them upset, and I. So. Um, I'm going to bring in some new faces, and that's the truth. So they reacted well to it, which is nice. Bit downcast that I didn't make any promises, but oh well. Let's see if we find something out about money. Uh, we avoid tax hit. Oh, cash injection that's coming up. Okay, so we have some new deals, um, sponsorship deals. Let's have a look at that. Injection wasn't that great, apparently, because we only have three million in the bank. But anyway. So we have some brand new deals. We still have, don't have a sp uh, stadium sponsor. I don't know why. A new scouting budget, which does not need to be that big, by the way. So I'm going to be putting some of that towards transfers and wages and stuff. The board injected 2 million. And we probably borrowed some money to enlarge the stadium. Uh, improvements, what improvements? Higher grade, yes, I, I think it's a great idea. We want youth leagues, please. Youth level increased from category three to category two. Is that already in place? Let's have a look, club info facilities, category three, so it's not yet in place. So we, we are, uh, let's have a look, info, vision. We are expanding the stadium. It's gonna be completed within the summer. And we are also within the summer going to upgrade our youth level. Okay. Uh, assist to sort that out. Oh, also something I need to do. Loans, I need to turn, oh, I can't. I wanted to terminate some of these loans so we're not spending money on players we don't need over the summer, but we can't for some reason do that yet. And you know what? I don't think there's any mon more money coming. Maybe I know there is a, some sort of participation money that we get from the Skybet Championship. I don't know how much that will be. It's usually around four to five million. Um, I don't know if it's different like the further up you go in the league if it's different um, I don't think it is but I'm sure there will be some of that cash going I'm not sure if there's any money that then comes there's probably going to be some sort of TV deal for being in the premiership 
um, and maybe more sponsors will come along eventually. I don't know. I just don't understand where the 39 million of transfer budget is going to come from. If I use that money, I'm going to completely destroy the club. So I'm not going to use that money. That's the simple answer. So, yeah. I'm going to leave it there, I think. And we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, you can check out the Patreon. I'll see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.